Stuart Haas Racing is one of the powerhouse outfits in NASCAR Cup racing. And last season, despite not winning the championship showdown, were often in a league of their own. An incredibly dominant performance from Stuart Haas Racing through the first two stages. SHR notched up a dozen victories over the course of the campaign, led by Kevin Harvick's four-car team, who grabbed eight of those wins. As you look at the amount of races that we won in, the, in making the playoffs and making it all the way to the championship, I think it's just an absolute wonderful year of success of winning races and top fives and all those things that we did. So I'm perfectly happy with the way that the year went. Obviously, you know, you want the championship to stack on a, on a year like that, but, you know, sometimes it just that, that part doesn't work out. As every year, the season kicks off with the biggest race on the calendar, the Daytona 500. Speed Weeks is a festival of stock car racing that includes the Clash, the Duel, Qualify and the 500 itself. The Clash is kind of a preseason all-star race. You get invited by qualifying on a pole position, winning a race or being in the playoffs. It's very much a who's who of NASCAR. For the driver, it kind of lets him get out there with low risk to prepare himself for the Daytona 500, for the duels races, the, the ones that matter that's going to lead into a points paying race. It's an opportunity to learn. Maybe you'll see something on a pit stop or you'll see something on an assembly process that we can just tweak a little bit and hope to get just a little bit better for the following Sunday. The desire to win the Great American Race certainly shortens the holiday season, but it's all worth it if you get the dream win to kick off the campaign. Last year, in his first race in SHR's number 10 car, Eric Amarola almost pulled it off. I was as aggressive as I could be to try and win the Daytona 500 last year. Unfortunately, at the end, with about a mile to go, it didn't work out. We got wrecked and we didn't win, but looking for redemption in 2019, you know, I think. It's about just having that mindset about what do I need to do for the closing laps to be in position to win that race again. And if I'm in that position, how do I take advantage of it and make sure that I'm the one going to victory lane? Alongside Almirola in the SHR driver lineup, experienced campaigners Kevin Harvick and Clint Boyer remain. But in the 41 car, it's all changed as Mexican ace Daniel Suarez takes over from Kurt Busch. I feel like Stuart Harvick Racing has done a very good job. They were successful last year, and uh, they want to be even more successful this year. So I'm just excited to start working with them. The good part is you know, most of the team has stayed the same, and uh, I think you know he can come in with the confidence that, that we've got the team built up behind him. So now it's just a matter of learning the communication back and forth with each other. Fortunately, we went to the California test a couple weeks ago. We got to hang out you know, away from the track some and uh, start to build that chemistry. This is going to be a process. It won't be like a light switch that you just turn it on and that's it, just start winning. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of good things coming for, for us uh, for this 2019. The biggest change for SHR is that Ford have switched from the Fusion to the Mustang. A lot of extra work at the race shop over the winter, but hopefully a fast race car to give the team another successful season. For me, it's exciting to see the Mustang come to the racetrack because I feel like we know a lot about it. We need to race it to understand where we're going to be, what we need to work on, how we need to address things going forward. But to me, that's how you get better. It's almost another spark of excitement in the shop. Everybody sees the new Mustang roll out on the floor and we're all working on it and they start getting the decals on it prior to Daytona and it gets that color and that feel and you start getting that excitement again to go racing in 2019. Despite the challenges of a fresh driver lineup, new NASCAR rules and the switch to the Ford Mustang, the culture at SHR gives everybody confidence that 2019 is going to be another winning year. The expectation is to be competitive and, and have a chance to win no matter what racetrack that you're at. And if you've been here, you know the success that has taken place since, you know, Stuart Haas Racing came about. But it's consistently happened over the previous five seasons and that's the, the expectation that everybody has.